Thousands of historical Bloomington newspapers will soon be up for auction. The bound volumes have been in temporary storage since the Herald Times sold its property on the city's south side late last year. George Hale has this story. Contained in almost a thousand large bound books, the Bloomington Herald Times archive starts in the 1950s and runs through 2013. Of course, there's the national news of, of what was happening in Washington and New York. Janice Rickert was an editor at the HT for four decades. She says staff used the books for research until last year when the HT sold its building. There was no place to store these. We checked with several museums. Nobody had space to deal with them. So what we decided to do was to sell them. The archive documents day-to-day -day life in Monroe County, but it isn't all mundane. One 1954 headline declares Bloomington the city color TV capital after RCA opened its production center. From the 1970s, Bob Knight takes over Indiana basketball, and a massive blizzard shuts down the city. Plus, reminders of Bloomington's connection to national and international stories, such as the Palestinian attack on Israeli athletes at the 1972 Munich Olympics. An HT reporter was there covering Indiana University swimmer Mark Spitz. Or more recently, how an IU grad student class escaped the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. Rickert hopes proceeds of the archive will keep local reporting going. Sales benefit the Community Foundation of Bloomington and Monroe County's local news fund. So we're establishing this fund to help create some nonprofit money to help make sure local reporting continues to happen in this community. The foundation plans to distribute funds to journalists and outlets working locally. The more than 900 volumes are being stored in a warehouse at Cook Medical, where volunteers are documenting each book's contents. Ren Campbell is the auction manager at a state downsizing specialist. This couldn't have happened at, on our site, at our location. The storage was vast and it had to be removed from the building. For Indiana News Desk, I'm George Hale. The auction house is organizing and photographing the books for display online. Prospective buyers can register later this month at edsindiana.com. Bidding begins August 25th. The auction ends September 13th.